Hey everybody, it's Esther. So I'm going to start off with a song that I wrote a few years ago. It's called The World of the Abled and it's a bit about how crappy it is to be disabled and this is like especially hard if you have an invisible disability or two or three. So um, without further ado, <clears throat> The pain, the pain, the pain I'm in is not recognized by your broken system. You tell me who cares, we don't care about subjective, demanding I prove it as if you're objective. You have no idea, absolutely no idea, this is my body and I've got to wear it. You have the luxury of just tuning out me, the world of the abled, reluctant to share it. What harm would it do if you let me take part and you worked on your cold and ambivalent heart? You think I'm free to do anything I like, but being your equal is aiming too high. You have no idea, absolutely no idea, this is my body and I've got to wear it. You have the luxury of just tuning out me, the world of the able, reluctant to share it. So, yeah, that came up today. I have been in a weird situation at work and I'm not sure that having a disability is really being respected. Um, I don't really know quite the word for it. I do know that I was looking up the EEOC, um, which is kind of the federal body of government that it looks into discrimination based on disability. But because of the government shutdowns, the EEOC is shut down too. Not sure why I did this dance with my elbows, because I'm actually, well, elbows slash shoulders. Anyway, it's it sucks. So having a dis disability, especially an invisible disability, means <clears throat> navigating all of this complicated uh, just field. It's like a minefield. And I think with invisible disability, there's that added piece where people just look at you and like, oh, you don't seem disabled, you know, and you, you're like, thank you. Was that a compliment? Um, <clears throat> I was surprised to learn that other people kind of did similar things to I did that I did because I know for a long time I had terrible wrist injuries, but I needed to wear these hand braces. And then eventually I healed up to the point where I didn't really need my hand braces all the time, just maybe if I was typing. Um, and so, but I would find myself wearing them even in situations I didn't need to wear them, um, say the airport. And the reason for that is that's the quickest, fastest way to communicate. My hands suck. So <laughs> my hands hurt. If you ask me to pick up my luggage, they will hurt. They will be on fire. So... No, I don't need to wear my hand braces 100% of the time. But if I'm in a situation where I need a quick way of saying, my hands hurt, um, you know, wearing a brace is a good way of doing that. So I always felt slightly guilty about it, even though it was just a convenient shortcut and they were something that I needed to use occasionally. But then I read about other people who did that because having an invisible disability and making it visible is just pretty much the shortest, quickest way to communicate something. So I'm not really sure what's going to happen with me in my life right now and the way that my disabilities and particularly the invisible disabilities are uh, intersecting with everything that's going on. But I figured, you know, I would sing this song that I wrote a few years ago and see if that could heal me up and, you know, do my video for the day and give you guys a little bit of an honest slice out of a... Uh, the pie of life that Esther lives. All right. Bye everyone.